The BHP Mitsubishi Alliance is standing by its decision to stop production at one of its coal mines in central Queensland, casting doubt on more than a thousand jobs. Unions say the Norwich Park mine closure is a deliberate ploy by the mining giant to scare workers into backing down on a long-running industrial dispute over pay and conditions. And there's more turmoil to come, with both the mining industry and government signalling there are tougher times ahead for the sector. BMA's move to close one of its central Queensland coal mines has left an uncertain future for more than 1,300 workers. And the so-called resources boom could be on shakier ground. That word boom can be misleading. Uh, the, the industry's got some significant pressures at the moment. BHP Billiton says falling commodity prices, higher costs and last year's floods have been challenging. But unions say the move could be a scare tactic by the mining giant amid long-running talks over pay and conditions and recent industrial action. The cynic in me um, says uh, its timing is uh, not coincidental. They've had the unfortunate set of circumstance where um, floods combined with high input costs. Now clearly it didn't help that we lost a number of shifts in industrial action. The Premier says the federal government's industrial relations laws are partly to blame and he's among those signalling tougher times for the resource rich state. But I say this to the men and women who are working in the coal industry in Queensland think long and hard about what is going on at the moment. Jobs are at stake. Well, it was a bit of a wake-up call for governments, employees and interest groups that you just can't keep loading up more and more costs, more and more regulation. There are fears that the tiny town of Dysart will struggle to survive if up to 400 families leave. Norwich Park mine workers will receive information packs from BMA to further explain the closure. They'll also get letters so they can nominate which mines they'd be willing to transfer to. Operations at the mine will close next month. Marlene Wop, ABC News, Central Queensland.